And you can see more of uh, Mr. Keith Floyd on next week's show. Right, it's time to find out whether Blake will be facing Food Heaven or Food Hell. Food Heaven would be this lovely piece of oh, sirloin. Lovely, uh, right? lovely piece of sirloin, I have to yeah. say, which could be pan fried, served with a little peppercorn sauce, pepper sauce. mashed potato. Uh, the idea is that it is Food Heaven, you see? Yeah, a little lovely. bit of green beans, we're going to do those <laughs> hazelnuts, a touch of sherry vinegar, some butter. More beans. More beans. No, more beans. beans. Some alternatively, Food Hell could be cauliflower, two of your hate. Oh. Cauliflower. Cauliflower cheese as well with cheese, the smell such is mustard. Horrible. Just a hate cauliflower cheese. And cabbage as well, just to oh, chop well, it off. Well, just to make it worse, yeah. But you have got a pork chop. Oh, that's good. So mm. it could be kind of like food purgatory. Yeah, it was 2 like. 1 to yeah. people at home. Yeah. Alexis chose hell. Uh, that made it 2 all. You've Sorry. got to thank Mr. Rankin because he oh, wanted the yes, yes. yes, give me the love. You've always been my favourite. Yeah, Take that back to France. Yeah, there yeah. you go. There you go. We'll lose that one out of the way. Now, our uh, steak here, what we're going to do is we're just going to season this, oh. get this on. Right, if you can do me the peppercorn sauce, please. Uh, if you can crush me the yep. uh, those as well. Yep, yep. And pass me the potatoes as well, please, through the... Do that. Peppercorn sure. sauce, you can get on and do that. So we're going to take the steak and get that straight on. I've got one in the oven as well, so we just basically pop that straight on there. Touch your butter. And we're going to pan fry this. But because it's quite big, we're going to pan fry it and then roast it in the oven. Oh, uh, sounds awesome. Sounds awesome, does it? Uh, so this is just like the best part of a show. You know you're getting food heaven and you're watching Amazing Chefs cook it. It's just like, this is, this is I pretty good. I think you'll have to help me make the peppercorn sauce. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I will mess it up. But yeah, it's yeah, a, it's have a go at that. No, it's a good thing for a bloke to learn, I think, a peppercorn sauce. You think so? Yeah. yeah. I always find it's the temperature of the pans. Do you think? Yes, the temperature of the, oh, I just took that off. Not to get too hot. You just notice it, home. <laughs> James, just put it back on the heat. Blake, if you would just, uh, just. No, no, uh, it's fine. It's fine like that. Right. A little bit of uh, fresh thyme going in there as well. A few little bits. We just get a nice bit of colour on the steak first of all. Now this is half olive oil, half butter. Yeah. You cook it in just purely butter. It's going to burn. If you cook it in olive oil. You're not going to get the same colour. So right, half okay. and half. Half and half. That's secret. Right. Now, there's no pepper on here because obviously we're going to do a peppercorn sauce. Yep. This one over there, we're going to make a little uh, butter. And once it's done with the mashed potato there. Yep. Thank you very much. We've got some hazelnuts, which I'll melt in a little bit of butter. So That's I'm right. just. Right, explain to us this pepper sauce thing. Go on then. Well, this is a very quick one, I think, that, uh, for your recipe. So you've got black pepper in there Sweating as well. Sweating a little bit of shallots yep. uh, in butter. And I've got the pepper in there because I, I don't know about you, but I prefer a slightly more cooked black pepper flavour. Yeah. Yeah. So when those are a little bit soft and cooked, that's the steak leg. What you want to do? Lovely. Hold on, it's not the ranking show. That oh, goes in, sorry, man. This goes in the oven. Off yeah. you go. <laughs> well, I'm working with the, the other talent here. Right. <laughs> okay. So now I want you to tip. No. Yes, you have oh. to do both at once. Okay. It so you hold like the pen. Hiding behind hold me the there. pen. Okay, you're going to tip that in there. Yeah. All yeah. of it. Yeah, wash all your, of wash it. Wash your hands. Careful. And wash then... your hands. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> you're cooking. <laughs> there you go. You enjoy that? That was pretty good. <laughs> Although I was slightly... Wild. Watch your hands. Watch your hands! <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes a bit of gravy and then finally a bit of cream. And we take the uh, liquor out of here. This is the leftover bits of the steak. Uh, pop that in there as well. You want to add the cream? With yeah, flair? all right. Okay, am I going to burn Go on, my health? Go on, to James again. Martin. Go on. Okay. Give it a bit of... I don't know enough, what... Enough, enough. Enough, right, too much. There you go. <laughs> he's pretending he's James Martin. Right. Right. There you go, see? He <laughs> told me that's what happened. Good one. Just a little bit more. There you go. There you go. That's all right. Bring that to the boil. What is the Alexis? The shortage of potatoes in... <laughs> eh? Time's our tides. Eh? Well done, well done. Look, he's left half of it in there, look. Well, there that's, you go. that's a French way, you know, you only use the best. Right. Do you need more mashed potatoes? Well... I don't think you do. I think I might do, <laughs> Chef. Yeah, go okay. on, just come, Paul. Ah, uh, thanks, Paul. There. Yeah. It's a little uh, bit broken fiddly, it. this, huh? Yeah. Right, while they're messing around over there, we're going to do a okay, little butter to go with this. Potatoes in it. That's a bit warm as well. Uh -huh. Open, open. We'll get rid yeah, of that. That's, that's too warm. Um, I don't think I'm doing this right. There you go. On there. Up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that's too complicated for us. Oh. Come, Come on, guys. Let me food heaven, all right? right? You're messing it up for me. Yeah, I think you More! Do. More potatoes! More potatoes. You know, James, what is his dish? James, potato puree. Oh, both. 
for the viewers at home, I'd just like to know, he makes all the fruit, pretends he's going to eat all, and then he doesn't eat it. Of course I eat it. I oh. end up eating it. You don't. Hey, look at the, I look at the waste that you've got yes. there. Huh? When I was well, an I embryo, had, I had bigger all, waist all than the you are. Oh my god, look how beautifully yeah. slim that Paul Rankin is. <laughs> <laughs> Makes James look like he's been eating too many pies. <laughs> Lovely men. Oh. Yeah, nice man, but anyway, yeah. most viewers will be thinking they should have been watching golf. Look at him, he's a <laughs> thin little thing. Right, need feeding. Right, in we go with the beans. Okay. We've been on each other a long time. Uh, yeah. Right, and then we put a touch of sherry vinegar. Yeah. Where, where's it gone? Here, here. I was hiding it. Touch a tiny bit of sherry vinegar. Does the sauce need more pepper? Have you been tasting it, Blake? No, you no, I haven't been tasting it. Ellen, no. One thing you want to do when you're cooking is taste, taste, taste. Yeah? Right. So. Does it need more salt? Does it need more pepper? Be confident. I'll go for a little bit more salt. A bit more salt? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pepper's okay, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepper's Perfect. fine, yeah. You're coming on. You're oh, good. Yeah, yeah. enough brandy in it, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. That wasn't Irish whiskey. A mashed potato. Look at that. We got that in the end. Mmm. <laughs> and you. Alexis, you yes? can't... What would you, you like me to do? Because you've got to garnish this. Yes. With that, you see? Oh, that's uh, yeah. And then we slice the beef. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful actually. Yeah. Over there. And this is heaven. I tell this you. is heaven. Yeah. This looks I lovely. didn't even ask you how you wanted your steak. Uh, whatever. How it comes? Medium's fine, but... That's how you well, want it. I've <laughs> got it, so perfect. So you've got it. Uh, basically, you, you can test the steak, just press that bit over here. You press this part of your, your thumb yeah. there. Press that, that's rare. Go down to your next one, medium rare, and this finger. If you press that, that finger there, yep. and push that, press that, it's the same texture. And that's medium? Yeah. Nice. That's how you can tell. There you go. There you go. And what's the first one? Is that rare? The first one's rare. Rare, yeah. yeah. And confused? the last finger's ruined. Are you confused? Yeah. No, I'm always confused. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Right, and then we've got our beef. There. We've got our pepper sauce. Mm. It's all right. <laughs> 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 Somebody added too much cream to it. Because there's Alexis no, is here and he yeah. did this in rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Over the edge. Yeah, the trendy way, that's a trendy there you go. And there you go, Blake. That looks good. There's your amazing. Hands. Dive in. Mm. Yep. Help yourself. Right, and to go with this, Susie's oh, uh, chosen a Graham mm. Beck mm. Anthony's Yard 2009 from Majestic ah. Wines, priced at £6.39. pence. I think they're enjoying that. And the beef just wants to rest, by the way, when it comes out of the oven. How is it? How is it? Oh, that's mm. lovely. Mm. Happy with that? Yeah, well, it's... best of luck with your new plate. And I hope there's another series of in-betweeners. Mm. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, that's off today on Saturday Kitchen. Uh, live, thanks to Paul mm. Rankin, Alexis yeah. Gautier and Blake Harrison. Yep. Cheers to Could Susie you? Barry yep. for the wine choices. Another great one today. All of today's recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. We'll be back live next week at the usual time of 10 o'clock. We'll be joined by comedian Matt Lucas in the meantime. Don't forget, there's a new edition of our Best Bites programme. That's tomorrow, 10 o'clock, over on BBC Two. Have a great weekend. Careful with those Easter eggs. Cheers. Cheers. Dive in. Chin-chin.